Welcome, it's Facts You Don't Know. If it's your first time here and you want to find out new facts that will definitely make you smarter and more. Well, and for make sure to subscribe and active the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Margarita, the elderly woman, entered the barber and beauty salon, which had recently started working in the city. There, she was surprised by the sophistication of the place, the beautiful pictures and the wonderful decor, so everything was luxurious and shiny. There were many hairdressers walking in the middle of the hall. Some of them brought cosmetics, some gathered hair falling on the ground, and others collected cut and styled clients' hair. No one paid any attention to Marguerite, even though the shopkeeper was in a hurry to receive some women who looked dignified and dressed in elegant clothes. The old woman sat on a chair, and when she noticed that no one had talked to her, she asked the salon supervisor, in a loud voice, if there was an empty place for her to comb her hair. One of the employees approached Marguerite and kept watching her classic old dress, then mockingly asked her what hairdo she wanted. Then the grandmother took out a magazine that was inside her bag and started turning the papers, until she paused at one of the pictures and told the hairdresser that she wanted the hairdo in the picture. The hairdresser, called Rosa, smiled and took that picture and asked her colleagues to come see her. Then everyone laughed at the choice of the grandmother, and they exchanged jokes among themselves and laughed at the grandmother. The hairdresser met the grandmother and told her that this hairdo did not suit her age. And secondly, the hair needs to be thick, and the grandmother's hair is light because a large part has fallen off. And the third reason is the high cost of the hairdo. The haircut told the grandmother that she would have to spend all her pension on hairdressing, and then she and everyone inside the salon burst out laughing. The grandmother remained calm, even though she was upset at the mockery of these people, and asked Rosa to start her work and not worry about the money because she'd pay her. The razor refused to start her work and asked the grandmother, laughing, how she would react from the comments of her grandchildren on this youthful hairstyle. When the grandmother smiled and told her that she had neither grandchildren nor children, the grandmother noticed that no one in that room wanted to help her, so she immediately got up and left. She decided to go to another barber shop and maybe someone would look after her. She kept walking down the street until she found a small barber and beauty salon in an invisible corner. The salon, which seemed old, had a beautiful and graceful young woman inside, and as soon as she saw the grandmother standing at the door of her shop, the woman was combing her hair left, went out, and asked if she could help. When the grandmother told her that she wanted to comb her hair, the young woman, called Alina, smiled with her and kindly asked her to come in and sit on the sofa and wait for the client to finish with her. When the young woman finished combing the client's hair in her place, she asked the grandmother to come forward to sit in the chair and kept looking with her hair. Then she told the grandmother that she had beautiful hair and asked her what hairstyle she wanted. The grandmother pulled out her magazine she was with and said the haircut and signs of shyness on her face that the hairstyle was young, but she liked it and wanted it. The young woman looked at the photo in the magazine and then told the grandmother that she has good taste and that this hairdo is wonderful. She'll adjust it until it becomes a mixture between a modern youthful hairstyle and elegant classic hairdo, then put the magazine aside and began to work. The grandmother thanked the kind young woman for the kind treatment she'd met and told her that today was her local jubilee, which coincided with her 70th birthday. So she decided to do a new haircut to look elegant. The barber congratulated her client, Margarita, on the occasion of many and wished her health and wellness and reassured her about the hairdo. As she promised her that she'd make her all the efforts to make her look beautiful and that the hairdo would be free as a gift from her. Alina did everything she could for a full three hours until she made the elderly woman look elegant and beautiful, to the point that she didn't recognize herself when she put on a hat and sunglasses. The grandmother was happy out on the street, and she caught everyone's attention, which made her so happy. An hour later, the grandmother returned to Alina's store to thank her for all she had done for her the day before, as she sat with her in the small salon and asked her about her life. Alina said that she's not married and has a little boy that she leaves in the nursery when she comes to work. When Margarita asked her about his father, she told her that they'd been in a relationship with each other seven years ago. In addition, when he realized that she was pregnant, he traveled to the north and didn't return. Then she called him to find out the reason for his sudden absence, to be shocked when he told her that 
he started a new life there with his family, and he would not return. Alina added that when she realized that the man who promised to marry her, called Velodia, would not return to her, she decided that she would look for work to prepare for the birth of her child. Her parents refused to receive her at home while she was pregnant, so she found herself forced to rent an apartment in order to live in. The young woman sold a gold ring and necklace in order to pay the rent, and then started working in a barber shop as a simple employee who was paid little. However, over time she noticed that the amount she earned was not sufficient for her to pay the rent and meet her son's needs, so she decided to open up that small shop in order to work. Margarita noticed that the young woman did not have many customers because her shop was small and contained old tools, so she left the store feeling sad about her condition and kept thinking of a way to help her. As she was walking on the street, she suddenly heard a voice coming from behind her calling her by name, and when she turned around, she found that she was a smartly dressed young woman in a luxury car calling her. The young woman got out of the car and removed the glasses, at which point she recognized Margarita. She is the diligent student, Nina, who was studying with her in high school. The elderly woman, when she was teaching this young woman in high school, noticed that she suffers from financial problems that prevent her from focusing on her study. This is why she used to give her money and always encouraged her to study hard, supporting her in everything she does, and she used to advise her constantly and treat her as if she were her friend. The young woman hugged her former teacher, shedding tears, and told her that she'd missed her. Nina kept looking at Marguerite and asked her about the secret of that elegance. Then the elderly lady told her that it was her birthday, so she wanted to celebrate it. The grandmother offered that young woman to come with her to her house and join in celebrating her birthday because she lives alone. However, the young woman smiled and insisted that the grandmother come with her to see the new barber shop that she opened in the city, and then they go to her apartment to celebrate her birthday there. The two got into the car and headed towards Nina's barber and beauty salon, and when they got there, the grandmother was in shock, because the salon was the same one she'd come to in the morning, and the staff refused to do her hair. The young woman remained surprised by her previous teacher's reaction and asked her why she was upset when she saw the salon. Then the grandmother told her what happened to her that day and how the workers insulted her in her shop, and then she asked her to leave. The young woman grabbed Margarita by her hand and brought her into the store and asked her to sit on the sofa, and she called to all the workers in the salon and rebuked them for what they had done with the elderly woman. She told them that she'd meet them the next day and give them their salaries and then fire them completely from working in her salon. And then she left with the grandmother and left them all in shock. After the grandmother celebrated her birthday with her ex-student, they went the next day to Alina's salon and found her waiting for customers. Then they asked her to close that shop immediately and come with them because they would offer a wonderful job. After Nina expelled all the workers in her salon, she installed Alina as the supervisor of the salon, which is considered the largest and most luxurious in the city. This is what made the young woman a lot happy, and she brought professional female employees to work with her. Alina's happiness didn't end there, as Marguerite offered her to move in her apartment and her son, and she promised her that she'd treat her as a daughter and would not ask her to pay the rent, and she'd make her son as if he were her grandson. The young woman immediately overcame the grandmother's request and moved in with her. Her life had completely changed, as she didn't think that her charity to the elderly woman on that day would change her life, as she had a house and a job with a very large salary, in addition to a mother who took care of her and her son. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.